Alright, let's uh, install some Nginx. So we have currently a Rackspace server running Apache MySQL and PHP on version 10.10. .10. We are going to stop that and install Nginx on the site. So uh, let me show you what the site is supposed to look like. So if I go to app Okay, let me close this all out, close other tabs, and log out. Okay, this is what it's supposed to look like, so if everything goes well, this is what we'll see again. So, let's go into terminal. I've already SSH'd into my server. We will go slash etc, and I'm a root user, so I don't have to sudo. So that's etc slash init.d slash apache2 stop. init.d, sorry, apache2 stop. Okay, Apache 2 is stopped. If I were to reload the page here, failure. Great. That's what I want to see. So, now what we're going to do is we are going to open the website here and go to var, and we're going to um, rename www to www2. Okay? That's because Nginx is going to create its own www. Okay? So, here are the list of commands that we need. So, starting off, let's install MySQL client through aptitude. So we will run that and let that go. Okay. Next, we will install Nginx. And you know, before I get too crazy, I am going to export the database that I have because I think that's important to do. So, file, export, SQL. This is going to be uh, MS October 18 to my desktop and this is just going to export the entire database for me so that nothing goes too wrong. Okay, done. So next I will install Nginx. So aptitude Nginx. Yes. Okay. Now I will install PHP FPM which is PHP running on the server, not through Apache. Yes. Oops. Okay. Now I will install all the PHP crap. So curl and magic and JSON and all that stuff with this command. And I'll say yes. Okay. Now we will restart PHP FPM now that we've enabled a bunch of stuff in it. Okay. And now we will edit our uh, Nginx config file and add some config. So that would be in, so if we refresh, we can see that Nginx created its own www folder, which is awesome. So we will go to slash etc Nginx sites available default, double click that to edit it. And now I will paste in my config that I have written before or have modified and found online that I know works with my server. I'll just get rid of everything. I'm not really going to go over this. Um, I'll put this with the other code that I'm using. Save. And now what I'll do is let's check the www folder. So slash var www. So there's a folder called nginx default. So let's just think. Let's see if nginx worked. If I if it does, I'll go here slash nginx default, and I should see something. I don't because of the HTTPS probably. Okay, no, looks like the slash. Uh, looks like we're gonna have a problem here. Let's go into www and add a new file and say index.html, and open that with text wrangler and say hello test and we'll just say test or slash index dot html and it doesn't work so we will restart nginx slash etc slash init dot d slash nginx restart because we didn't do that and now I'll refresh this hey hello test and now we will do nginx default. This page you're looking for is temporarily unavailable. Well, that's a weird error. Anyway, let's make sure PHP works. So we'll change this to PHP. 
and we'll delete this folder. We don't need it anymore. I don't need it. We will edit this PHP file and say PHP, PHP, PHP info. If this works, this should display some PHP info. So index.php and not found. Cool. So it doesn't like what I've done here. We we're going to restart PHP FBM one more time and refresh that. Oh, they! It works now. I just had to refresh them both. So here we go. That's Nginx with PHP. Now let's run our app. So what we're going to do is delete that, and we will call this www3, and call our www2 back to www, and we will refresh our app and see if it works. And we have some huge problems. <laughs> so what are our problems? Well, we got the site working, but it looks like we have a ton of elements that are not showing up. So like all of our CSS files are not showing up. So that means it's a config error it's in our default. So we just need to have these static files, which they look like they're here. Look like they should be fine. Okay, and the reason for this failure is because the site is actually an HTTPS site. This is a fully SSL website, and I didn't configure SSL for uh, Nginx yet. So let's do that. So uh, if I go to HTTPS colon double slash, uh, this should work, and it doesn't right now. It says there's a problem, right? It says there's a huge problem. So we need this to work because all of our resources are HTTPS. That's why they weren't showing up. So let's do that. So first of all, what we need to do is uh, we need to open a new server and put in uh, a new listener. So this is a separate thing in here, so new server, and we'll close our, our braces here. Uh, and all we're doing is saying listen 443, uh, SSL is on, and we point it to our cert and our key that uh, we already had set up from Apache, and actually if you go to our Apache 2 comp file, you can see uh, that's where they are here in the uh, comp file right here, where we had before. So this is already set up for Apache. Like this is, if you don't know how to do this, you need to do this already for Apache, and then this is what I'm doing here. I'm not going over that. So then, uh, this is fine, but now I need all, if it's on 443, I need all the other stuff to happen, right? So I'll just copy and paste all the other stuff from here, all these other locations, right into here. That way, uh, if you're on 443, all this stuff still happens. So save, and then I'll uh, refresh this, and now it's going to ask me for my certificate PEM. Now, because now it's signed in SSL, so uh, that and then and that, and now it's good. And now, if I refresh, ta da, everything works now, SSL'd and all. So, here we go Nginx running on our site, back up and running with SSL support.